Hello everyone, my name's Dan and I'm a sales and marketing associate and webinar training specialist here at Baxter Media. Uh, welcome everyone, if you're here for the BSAP introductory webinar, you've come to the right place. Today we'll be talking about the Student Ambassador Program and all that it has to offer to a select few hardworking students at participating colleges and universities. I'll also discuss the perks of being a Baxter Ambassador, the 2022 schedule, and of course, how to apply. I'll also be talking about some of the publications and websites that Baxter Media is involved in. First, a bit about our company. Baxter Media is the largest, most trusted provider of travel industry news and information in Canada. We've been in business for more than 60 years. Our flagship magazines are Canadian Travel Press and Travel Courier, which are published weekly. We deliver the news and information that Canadian travel industry professionals rely on in the format of our reader's choice. These formats include print, digital, e-media, webinars, and social media. First up is Canadian Travel Press Magazine. Known as the most authoritative voice of the travel trade, Canadian Travel Press has many times been awarded for editorial excellence. Another very important publication of ours is Travel Courier Magazine. Travel Courier provides news coverage, well-researched features, market analysis, and industry comment on key issues relevant to today's travel professionals, all in a short, visually appealing, and easy to read format. We also publish Offshore Magazine. Offshore delivers the finest in upscale, aspirational, and unique vacation opportunities that cater to the most discerning tastes and higher expectations. Each issue features carefully curated travel adventures, magnificent resorts, and exclusive travel experiences. I'd also like to mention our, new, our main news website, travelpress.com. Travelpress.com provides an easy access point for all Baxter, Baxter Media Digital Editions, including Canadian Travel Press, Travel Courier, The Personnel Guide, and more. Travelpress.com is a one-stop shop for news, bulletin boards, and fam trip info, as well as links to contests, webinars, and travel industry events. You'll see the link to subscribe to a digital publications in the upper right corner of the main page of Travelpress.com. And in the lower right corner of the screen is what Press Today looks like. Press Today is a daily email news service incorporating the news stories from travelpress.com, keeping subscribers in the loop with the latest travel industry news and info. Subscribing to Press Today, as well as our other digital products, only takes a few seconds. As mentioned before, just go to travelpress.com slash subscribe. So what is the Baxter Student Ambassador Program? BSAP is the only travel and tourism student mentoring program of its, of its kind in Canada. Basically, we want to reach out to you guys, the younger generation of travel professionals that are still undertaking your post-secondary studies by encouraging you to get involved in the travel industry, fostering networking opportunities, and mentoring the next generation of travel professionals. Now, the mentoring aspect of this is going to take on a whole new dimension in 2022, and more on that later. But that's going to be, uh, that's actually a pretty exciting new facet that we're adding to the program this year. So we want an ongoing professional relationship with our student ambassadors that involves supporting them in their endeavors while they share Baxter Media's travel and tourism content through social media and through word of mouth. So how does BSAP work? The BSAP program selects two finalists from each participating college or university based on a combination of academic success in your post-secondary studies, industry involvement, and leadership skills. Then to select a final winner from each school, the two finalists each present a 15 to 20 minute webinar on an assigned topic. After this last phase, one winning ambassador will be chosen from each school. Winners will be announced on May 5th, 2022. And I'd like to give a quick shout out to our sponsors to date. We have ACTA, the Association of Canadian Travel Agencies, TIO, the Tourism Industry Association of Ontario, and SCAL Canada. Thanks so much for helping us to make BSAP a continued success. Winners benefits or the perks of being a Baxter Student Ambassador. With the support of our generous partners, winning Baxter Student Ambassadors will connect with industry leaders through networking opportunities and through our first ever round of mentorships that are taking place in spring 2022. So the complete 2022 winners package includes your student profile published in the annual BSAP issue of Travel Career Magazine, and that's published digitally, career advice from an assigned mentor, a one-year membership to ACTA with access to the learning campus, a one-year membership to TIO, introduction to SCAL Canada, 
and access to the BSAP Alumni Association group on LinkedIn. You'll also receive a certificate of honor uh, in print formats, so it'll be a hard copy. And that is something that's uh, very nice. That has your name on it. It has uh, uh, the BSAP logo on it. It has the Baxter Media credentials on it. And you'll be able to frame that. And also, uh, speaking of digital as opposed to hard copy, you'll also be able to list it on your LinkedIn profile and your resume if you so choose. But yeah, this part is very, very important. So this is a new addition for 2022. This coming spring, each winning Baxter ambassador from our participating schools will be assigned their own carefully selected mentor to provide them with helpful advice as they transition into their chosen career field after graduation. So each ambassador gets three 45 to 60 minute video chats with their assigned mentor. Uh, the first one being uh, just greetings and general career advice. And that's scheduled for April, 2022. The second video chat will be a resume and portfolio feedback and editing session. That's scheduled for May. And uh, the ambassadors should be sure to send their mentor their resume at least a week prior to that particular session. And then the third video chat will be some follow-up and career advice. And that's scheduled for June. And that's basically just, yeah, follow-up conversation between the two of you on uh, how your job search is going and what you'd like to accomplish that coming summer. And um, another additional thing I want to mention here is that uh, if distance and geography and also the pandemic allow for it this coming summer, uh, we do hope that winning ambassadors will be able to meet their assigned mentor at least once in person. So although we can't promise that right now, that's what we're hoping for. So the May 2022 digital issue of Travel Career Magazine will feature profiles of each and every student ambassador winner. Uh, so here's what the 2021 digital issue looked like. It was dedicated to the BSAP program and the chosen ambassadors, as well as the schools. So uh, I'd like to quickly show you guys um, what the digital edition looks like. I'm just going to go in and share my screen for a second. So let's see. I'm going to go into, so if you go to the BSAP website, can you guys see the Baxter Ambassadors website here up on the screen? So if you look at those tabs on the left side of the screen, uh, you'll see one that says yearbook. So you can go back to all the past years, right back to 2016, which was the first season of the program, but I'm going to go to 2021. Uh, thanks, you guys. I'm just going to make sure that you can see this when I click into 2021. There we go, that should be working now. So this is what the digital issue of the magazine looked like. So it's a lot more interactive than the print editions we did in the past, obviously. Um, but yeah, we did a Where Are They Now segment featuring some past ambassadors from uh, from our past seasons of uh, 2016 onwards. But um, we, had our main, uh, we had our main feature stories in here and we had all of our student profiles featured right here. So while I have some of these listed in my slides, it's probably better for me to just go ahead and click into one of them. But here's Claire. This is one of our 2021 ambassadors. As you can see, it loads up and then you can scroll down and her profile is here. So it tells you that she's from Capilano University, tells you the degree she got. And then there's even a very short interview here, which is really neat. So questions like the first place I'd like to visit post pandemic, what her greatest achievement she feels is and the best travel advice she's ever received. And hers was uh, always carry some cash. Having currency for each country I was visiting was extremely helpful for tipping and for transit. And of course there's uh, it's shareable there, of course. But yeah, this is what the issue looked like. I just wanted to show it to you uh, firsthand. So I'll stop my screen share, here we go. The winners from each school each got their own uh, profile. And this coming season, there are 14 participating schools. So there's actually going to be 14 ambassadors for 2022. Okay, so here's what the 2022 season of uh, BSAP looks like. So the applications are going to open on January 5th. So just a few weeks away. And uh, those app that application period is going to remain open until February 17th. But you definitely want to make sure you um, get your application in. Uh, and it's going to be in a basically a fillable form on the website. Uh, so I'm going to share my screen one more time. Uh, just one second. Here we go. So yeah, so there's two different ways you can do it. Uh, there's the um, apply now button on the left hand side of the screen. And there's also this red box here on the right side of the screen. So you can click into it there. Uh, although the form isn't live yet, it is going live on January 5th. 
And some of the application questions are going to be, for example, what extra extracurricular activities are involved in outside of school? Why do you want to work and travel? And why should you be chosen as the BSAP winner from your school? So it's not a particularly long form, um, but I do recommend putting some thought into your answers, uh, particularly the last few uh, before submitting it. But yeah, you have until February 17th to submit that. Uh, moving on, the uh, finalist webinar presentations are going to occur between uh, March 4th and March 17th. So basically, after the finalists are chosen on February 24th, you're going to be uh, hearing from me, and I'll be assigning your assigned topic to you. And uh, yeah, you'll have uh, uh, some students may only have about eight days to prepare for their um, uh, webinar presentation. But um, the students that present first, so for example, the students that present on March 4th or say March 6th, um, to be honest, we are going to be a little bit more lenient on the grading uh, if a student had less time to prepare their to prepare their topic. Uh, yeah, so those conclude on March 17th, and the winners are going to be selected on March 18th, 2022. And then the BSAP special issue of Travel Career Magazine is going to be published on May 5th. Okay, so how to apply online. So if your school is one of the participating uh, colleges or universities, and uh, yeah, if you're here today, um, that is definitely the case. The BSAP program welcomes all graduating students from tourism and hospitality programs to apply. Uh, I'd like to mention to you guys too that uh, in some cases, it is okay if you are not graduating until the following year uh, to go ahead and submit an application anyways. Um, so definitely don't feel like you're barred from applying if you're gonna graduate in say 2023. Or, for example, say you're graduating in fall 2022. Uh, so by all means, still apply. Um, but technically, we are mostly selecting uh, graduating students. But that's not always the case. So we do make exceptions sometimes. So uh, on this slide here is the main page of the BSAP website, uh, which I showed you before as well. But the URL to get there is baxterambassadors.com. And uh, the application link is the second link in the main menu. And um, as mentioned, you can also just click on that red box on the right side of the page. So yeah, um, applications remain open until February 17th. So feel free to apply to the program for a chance to be one of the two finalists from your school. You can also visit the website to read about our sponsors, check out BSAP related news, and uh, of course, browse through the special edition of Travel Courier from past years. Because even in the years past when we did print issues, uh, it was also included in digital format uh, and it's linked on the website. And of course, if you have questions about the program later on and want to contact us, you'll see the link to our contact information on the left hand side of the page right underneath the subscribe link. Okay, so we encourage all BSAP applicants to subscribe to our news products. Uh, it's highly recommended. Now these are free digital subscriptions, it doesn't cost anything. Uh, and it's, uh, we consider it an investment in your future success in the travel and tourism industry and the hospitality industry. And that it happens to be what you're getting into. Uh, and as mentioned earlier, it's super easy. Just go to travelpress.com slash subscribe. And of course, another great way to stay in the loop is to follow Baxter Media on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram. On the right side of the slide here are the handles of our official social media accounts. And for everyone here at Baxter Media, thanks so much for listening and for being here today. If any of you guys have any questions, feel free to submit them uh, to either the chat box or the Q&A box. And I'd be happy to answer question, any questions that you guys might have. Uh, so some, someone just sent me a question about um, uh, finalists. So yeah, there are only two finalists from each school. So um, yeah, it's always just the two. That's a good question. Oh, and there's a question here about criteria for the uh, presentations. Yeah, that's a great question. Um, so uh, basically, uh, the webinar presentations are going to be graded by um, me and a few of my colleagues here at Baxter Media. Uh, but we'll also have uh, typically your professor will be on the call as well. They'll be they'll be viewing your presentation as well. Uh, but yeah, the evaluations come in from uh, your professor, uh, me and a handful of my colleagues. And we usually have a guest judge on the panel as well. Uh, typically from one of our sponsor companies. So usually someone from Skull Canada or someone from Tayo will be uh, will be submitting a grade out of 20 as well. And the uh, in terms of the um, uh, in terms of the categories for what you're graded on, uh, your presentation will be graded on things like um, presentation delivery, 
uh, quality of PowerPoint. So basically the, qual the, the, the quality of your slides and the presentation you've put together. And uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be a PowerPoint either. It can also be, um, if you wanna use Google Slides or Prezi or something else, that's perfectly fine too. And uh, you'll all be getting a short orientation beforehand uh, so that I can show you how to use this particular platform, which is called Big Marker. Uh, but yeah, if you want your slides to be um, like in uh, as a PowerPoint or as some other format, whatever format works, because you can always just share your screen and show your presentation like that. And another category uh, that's an important one is sales focus. And sales focus is basically uh, framing your topic in a way that it can be sold by a travel agent. So if a, if a uh, tour operator or a travel agent what was to make use of the pres of the information that you're presenting, you got to make sure to present it in terms of like how the destination or product can be sold and look up things like, is it commissionable? Is it a overly popular destination that there's going to be a lot of competition for? You know, you can uh, make sure your research includes stuff like that. So uh, I have a question here. Will the webinar dates be given by you or chosen by the finalists? That's a great question, Carly. Uh, so they can basically be worked out on an individual basis. And um, but yeah, we we basically have a, a two weeks or just under two weeks to make all of the presentations fit into that period. So um, I won't just be randomly assigning the dates to you guys. I will be talking to you beforehand, uh, usually during the uh, usually during one of the orientations, and those take place in February. But yeah, typically during one of those or orientation sessions, um, I'll be asking you individually um, what dates work for you and what dates don't work for you. Because, for example, I, I don't want to assign your uh, webinar presentation on a date when you have classes all day, for example, or on a day when you're at work. Um, so, yeah, we'll definitely be working that out on an individual basis. But, yeah, another thing I'll do, too, is during one of the orientations, I'll ask for kind of volunteers for particular dates. I'll be like, OK, so our very first webinars are happening on March 4th. Uh, are there any volunteers for someone that wants to be one of the first people to present? Uh, and then, yeah, whoever is available on March 4th can, you know, can raise their hand or type a message into the chat to me to let me know. And as I mentioned before, um, the very first people to present, for, so for example, the people on that Friday, Friday the 4th, um, they definitely won't be graded extremely harshly if they've only had a few days to prepare for their presentation. So um, I'll be personally asking the other judges to keep that in mind for people that present first. But yeah, that's a great question. Thanks for that. Do you guys have any other questions at all? I'll, I'll allow another minute here just in case anybody else thinks of anything. Okay, so that looks like it's it for the questions. But um, thank you all so much for being here. I uh, really appreciate you uh, taking the time on your day to uh, to attend this. And um, yeah, and uh, so yeah, that application period starts on January 5th. So keep an eye on baxterambassadors.com and feel free to bookmark the website uh, for when it's uh, for the application start. Great to chat with you guys, and thanks so much for being here. Have a great day, you guys. Take care.